We're now going to test our word to symbol sub vi that we just built. And again, this is uh, easily achieved by opening any blank uh, sub vi, um, choosing our vi that we just created, adding all the inputs and outputs, and then just uh, testing it on the front panel. So let's go ahead and look at the example I've set up here. I've taken um, our old bits that we were dealing with with the previous example, just a binary count, 00011011 and uh, specifying four subcarriers. So we have one word for each subcarrier. And then for the word to symbol map, I've done just a simple uh, QAM where we have uh, one plus plus J and uh, so on and so forth for the uh, zero through three elements here. Uh, now here's where it's going to become important to remember uh, LabVIEW's convention in dealing with binary arrays to to decimal and that the the very first element is the least significant bit uh, so we expect the output to come out uh, when 0 1 is actually going to index the second element in the array and so we expect it to output this and then conversely for 1 0 we should get the first element in the array here um, 0 0 and 1 1 should remain unchanged due to their symmetry so let's go ahead and run and check out our output and it looks good as expected we get uh, no change with 0 0 and uh, 1 1 however the middle elements are switched because of LabVIEW's convention with binary vectors to decimal integers that's all there is to it uh, if you have any additional questions or if anything's confusing go ahead and check out the CNX module or email the author